Hey everybody, John Peterson here with a quick tip for you today. For those of you that have uh, ever taken a workshop from me, you know uh, when we're doing an image review that I obsess the details. Oftentimes it's the littlest things in a photograph that can turn it from a good image to a great image. And so I'm always on the lookout for the little, little details in photographs that I can improve to make images better. Now, today I was, I was going through my past catalog and I came across this image and I wanted to work on it because of, I, I love weathered wood, I love texture, I love pattern, design thinking, and this image kind of fits with a lot of those things that, that bring me creative satisfaction. So I started working on this image and you know, to me, the, the key parts of this image, of course, are the, are the nail heads right here in the middle of the shot. It's these dark vertical lines. This dark vertical line separating the dark wood from the light wood. And then it's the texture and the tonality of this wood right in the middle. I love this weathered wood that has just this honey. It's kind of a honey color that's fantastic. So I started looking at this image and, and figuring out what I wanted to do. And as I was examining other parts of the image, something sort of caught my eye. And I wanted to call this out to you as something to pay attention to. Now, because I love this honeywood and the texture and the grain is all going vertically, you know, and if I look at the top of the image, the grain and the splits here just run off uninterrupted out of the top of the image. But when I look at the bottom, you see this little dark line of uh, how the wood changes just a little bit here. So the weathering is different. It's, it's a lot like these patterns right here, but it's right at the bottom of the frame. And what this does subconsciously is as you're traveling down this, you're stopped. You don't leave the bottom of the frame like you do up at the top. So it's a small little thing, but with just a very gentle crop, I can get rid of that. And now I have symmetry and balance between the top and the bottom. Both of them are running off the edge of the frame. So I went from that which you normally wouldn't pay attention to, but subconsciously you know as you're scanning the image that I can't go out the bottom of the frame because something is blocking me. But by removing that, I now have a, a cleaner, less interrupted image. So pay attention to the details is what I'm telling you today. Oftentimes it's these little things that sometimes make a phenomenally large impact. So there you go. Quick tip of the day. Thank you much. Bye-bye.